Hey YouTube, <clears throat> back here with uh, another video. So I just posted up the video of, I just made a quick little video of the main local shop that I go to. Um, pretty much most of my domestic stuff comes from there. Not all of it, but I would say, I don't even know if I'd say most, but probably half. And the vast majority probably 80% of my Kyosho premium import stuff, TLV, comes from there uh, via the Toy Pimp. Um, as I've gotten to know him, though, I buy a lot of stuff from him. He has two shelves. That's maybe 5%, of 2% of his inventory. So what you saw there, the two shelves, is not much. Um, but he has a little cargo uh it's a nissan s cargo google it it is cram packed with like premium die cast <clears throat> hopefully he doesn't mind me saying that anyways of course i'm not going to go there and not leave with some kind of haulage um, i didn't get a lot today but i did get enough for two videos so the first video is going to be a little change of pace again i just did a video for matchbox haulers convoys trucks and uh this is from 93 was able to pick up a few more to add to the collection this thing is cool because it is all die cast so the bucket is die cast the, the uh, truck is die cast the wheels obviously are plastic as is the base but i just recently picked up uh maisto of basically a real similar casting where it's actually pretty decent but the bucket on that one is plastic but the maisto is brand new and this is 25 years old so that's a cool one there obviously it's way out of scale these things right here in real life are probably the size of a house um, they are gigantic your uh let's see if i have a little pointer your operator would climb up these this ladder or stairs walk across here to get into the cab I'm pretty sure either that or climb up here I think I've seen both but it's it's gigantic and it literally is the size of a house these tires I think are 10 10 feet or something like that 15 12 feet I don't know. I don't know much about it, but I know they're huge just from what I've seen on TV. So I got that <clears throat> and uh, a couple more Peterbilts for the collection. Also from 93, I got this Peterbilt dump truck. So I have the uh, a couple of the Peterbilt <coughs> cement trucks, but I, I didn't have the dump truck in my collection. So this might even be the same livery as my cement truck or the same graphics so that would be pretty cool to have a matching dump truck in this case the the bucket is plastic but still an awesome peterbilt and then i got another peterbilt uh as seen from that video i have a peterbilt shell truck uh this one's a little bit older 1987 and this is the getty truck I like these uh, these tankers. Pretty sweet. Now this is all plastic, but the rest of it is die cast. And uh, as mentioned in the previous video, this casting does feature the driver. So that's pretty cool. And this one here, you can see the driver as well. Not really as good. This one does not have a driver, as it is a different casting altogether. Uh, also picked up some more modern Matchbox <clears throat> from a new case. I've been seeing this one on all the pages, and uh, I've been wanting it, but haven't seen it. The scalpers are still going after this one in my area. This is the motorcycle variation, 
So I would also like to get the spare tire variation. I don't know which one is more rare. Probably they're probably even production like the uh, like the Volkswagen truck with the tools in the bed and the empty bed. Um, as far as Matchbox, what they're saying is that they're even. But there is speculation that one of them is more uncommon. This van, as far as mainline dollar vans go, this is one of the nicer vans that I've seen, in my opinion. And the motorcycle's awesome. It, it's really detailed from a sculpted standpoint. So someone with a steady hand could really make nice work of that. And unlike the old Volkswagen Vanagon and uh, the old Ford Bronco casting from Hot Wheels, I think this motorcycle is scaled a lot more accurately. But that is a really cool van. It's all metal. So Matchbox with stuff like this has been using a lot of plastic lately. And they said that they were going to start getting away from that on the licensed models. So this is nice to see because this is a licensed model. And it's nice to see them. Look, they didn't even cut. I mean, a little tiny piece of the top for plastic. So well done, Matchbox. That is a very nice job. Um, and that's not all. Here's one that uh, probably you haven't seen too much of lately. I'm sure you will. Uh, I think this case is pretty much brand new. So um, this is the green. It came out in a light blue color. And I like the green a lot better because the detail shows through a lot better. The headlights, the indicators, the Volkswagen logo, the lines on it, I think, show a little bit better. Your brake light detail, license plate, and then this is the, the uh, variation with the stuff in the bed. Um, there were two of these in the case. Both of them had the same the same bed so I'm not sure on the green one if they're gonna come out if it's gonna come out both ways or if it's just this one I don't know I'd imagine probably you're still gonna have both variations <clears throat> and I'm not sure I don't remember if the first one had a hitch I'm pretty sure it did that one does and uh, the last one I showed this in my video while I was there this is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6 this thing is sick. I saw when Matchbox announced that they were going to put this out. And I, I was like, yeah, I, I've got to have that one. I like the G-Wagon. <clears throat> so to get the 6x6, I don't think this is out in any, any other diecast brand. Um, but because of what it is, it is a small, it's it, probably an HO scale. Or a 1 to 83rd, or 87, 1 to 87. It should say on the base. They do sometimes say with Matchbox. Not always, but they do sometimes put the scale on there. And on this one, they did not. But I would guess this to be HO scale 1 to 87. <clears throat> but for a mainline dollar casting, it is sick. I would, I really would like to see them do the uh, the G wagon as well. But this one is cool. The six by six is cool. This thing in real life, I think, is about four hundred thousand dollars, and it's a beast. I mean, if you go to YouTube and watch the demo, it is a beast. It'll tackle any terrain. So that's a sick casting too. Spare tire in the bed. So that's an awesome addition, I think, to the collection. That's probably a pretty good spot for it right there on top of a bunch of terrain. The last one that I got... <coughs> Um, it's another hauler matchbox convoy to add and it's a, a casting I don't have although I, I do have the uh, 
I do have the trailer. I just don't have the tractor. So this is from 89, so it's a little bit newer than the Wimpy. Toblerone chocolate. I'm not sure what that is. These were exclusive to the UK and never released here in the United States, as far as I've been told. Um, so I'm not sure if these trucks, like the, the Wimpy truck, I forget what that is, but I don't think it's a, a truck that is that you're going to see on the roads here in the U.S. 1987 base, is that DAF 3300 Space Cab? Matchbox International Limited, made in Macau. This is a 1 to 86 scale. So probably pretty close to the same scale as the 6x6. That is a cool semi-casting, though. He picked up a whole collection of these, so I'd like to just chip away at them one at a time or maybe they're not uh, they're not like real expensive but they're not real cheap but I don't think I think what he's asking on most of them is fair just they're really hard to find you know but that is pretty cool and for me with with these convoys it's all about the content some of them are just generic or fictional content so I stay away from those but the licensed content um, so a lot of them if, if fits into my my uh, cool column I'll pick them up so that's the first part of today's haul nothing too exciting just some uh, matchbox trucks uh, both old and new. Of course, I left the uh, Mecco Doc stuff in the back there. I got to put that stuff away. I love those castings. It's been enjoyable staring at them the last couple days. Same thing with that demolition derby wagon. So we're going to call this one a video. I'll get it uploaded and I'll be right back with the other part of my haul, which is the usual. So I'll see you in a minute. 